What is heaven? Is just beyond yourself. And you learn to surrender yourself. Give up yourself. And you find supreme joy without suffering, supreme love without hate, supreme bliss. without ego. It's when you give up yourself so how to surrender mm. first step in surrender is allowing what it is to be. Because your mind is always trying to control this moment, make it different than it is. Look to the next moment. Can you just allow everything to be? To allow everything to be is a surrender of ego. There's a surrender of the me being in power. And second step to surrender allowing yourself to feel what is here not think what is here feel what is here how does it feel at a subtle level not in your thoughts not in emotions because emotions are just related to thinking but how does it feel what is your experience beyond the physical, beyond the mental, beyond emotional. Allow that feeling. Don't name it, describe it, understand it. Allow it to be. get to it you probably have to allow thinking to be allow emotions to be allow the physical to be as it is You don't want to remain holding on to subtle feeling. You want the next step is to let it go. Allow everything to be. Let it go. You allow thinking to be. You let it go. You allow emotions to be. You let it go. You allow the physical body to be as it is, still and relaxed, and you let it go. And you allow subtle feeling to be. And then you let it go. Next step is surrender. 
in surrender is who is letting it go? Who is this I that is doing it? Surrender the doer. Surrender trying to do this moment, figure it out, know it, control it. In the next step of surrender is to surrender the I. To let go of holding on to a sense of I. To let go of holding on to being. To let go of holding on to I am. When you let go, of this sense of I. Only a happiness is perceiving this moment. Only supreme joy is perceiving this moment. This last step of surrendering the self, surrendering being, surrendering I am. Because you've already surrendered the identification with thoughts by allowing thinking to be and letting it go. Now you are surrendering the sense of I that you perceive from. It requires you to be completely humble. And not only completely humble, because here's the rub. We think we are this sense of self. We don't know what is beyond the sense of self. This is kind of the big wall that we have to get past. But we start to recognize the feeling of joy, the feeling of freedom that is beyond the self, the transcendental reality, the unmanifest reality that is perceiving this moment, the selfless joy who perceives this moment. So as we begin to recognize this, we can surrender the self to go beyond the self into the bliss that is beyond the self. And so you hear this music it's transmitting bliss, transmitting the energy of selfless joy energetically. We nurture this bliss through listening to this music, through watching these videos, through coming to satsangs. You begin to recognize she who is beyond everything, she who is beyond all sense of self. And as you recognize her, then you can surrender the self. Then you can feel the light 
the infinite light, the infinite joy, who is actually perceiving this moment. This selfless consciousness. Consciousness who is not bound to a fixed place in space and time, who is not bound to a body, who is not bound to an eye, but is everywhere, infinite. So those are their steps in surrender. Part of surrender is if your head tilts to the side, enjoy, let it tilt, enjoy. What does it matter when you're absorbed in God, absorbed in joy? When joy perceives this moment, lives this moment, so I hope you got something good out of this video. I'm very sorry if you didn't, but if you did, please feel free to comment. May you be blessed in her supreme joy, in her supreme love. Om Shri Gurave Nama. Much, much, much love to you. Much love.